Yahoo, Prof here, and today we have a Poke Hall. Um, yeah, that's not Pokemon, but a lot of my screwdrivers and stuff are down here, so it's part of it now. Because <laughs> I gotta get it put away. But I finally got myself another one of these um, Makita Mag Boosts, the old one. You'll see them on a whole bunch of my screwdrivers. And drills and stuff because I still prefer them over what's currently available and it turns out Amazon still has this pack of bits Which happens to all be Phillips too, which you use a lot in PC So they'll get used there. These are also impact rated and I don't actually have some longer ones uh, Impact rated bits, so I'll actually put these to use because Phillips 2 is used for pretty much everything But it comes with a mag boost now those used to be about 10 bucks. I want to say at least five, if not ten bucks, on their own. This is a bit over twenty. So for me, um, it's awesome, and I might pick up another one of these down the road just so I can get some more of those. Um, I have made in previous videos. I've mentioned those, and uh, it was just down here because I needed to come down here and uh, get put away. Next up, uh, we have the first partner pack. This is actually the second one. Uh, I have not yet opened on a video for you guys. The first one, it's right here. This is the uh, Galar Partners um, pack that came, and that came out right with for the 25th anniversary. The other, th another thing that hasn't been opened yet on this channel that I might have shown, but that is a binder for the big cards, 30 of them it holds, and then it comes with an oversized kachu there, oversized kachu. So. This, which you'll be seeing in an upcoming video, I'll probably do the binder, the original one, and now this one. This one came through Amazon. Uh, I'd say it was almost double what it's supposed to be, uh, but I was able to get it. Last time, I just happened to run into the other one at uh, Walmart. Um, and they might have actually had these the one time I was there, but I'm limited to one item, and I they happened to have the lunchbox, so I, I took the lunchbox. Um, I don't think it was double, but almost, but, uh, yeah, so this one, uh, you'll see this, the previous one, and the binder that goes with them in an upcoming video. Um, oh, I guess that doesn't have too much information that should worry me there. Uh, what that is, though, is I kept that because it's an Amazon UK Amazon slip. And uh, what came in from the UK here was uh, these three, which are actually going to be up for sale. Because it turns out, I ordered these pre-ordered these a long, long time ago. And um, these uh, came in, and I already have them now. So, Jolteon I managed to pick up at um, uh, Walmart when they allowed me to get my one item. And then Eevee, they had one uh, Eevee left at the hobby shop. So I ended up getting these ready. These are three Battle Styles packs and then one promo Eevee or promo Jolteon. And I knew there were two different ones, so I bought three because, as you can see, I got two Eevees. Knowing my luck, I would have ordered two and gotten two Eevees. I'll have to see if anybody, if you follow on Twitter, I'll probably be posting about this sooner than this video. Otherwise, if you're still interested in these, hit me up over on Twitter at The Prophecist. And um, basically sell them for what I paid for them, you know, plus shipping and all that, all that stuff. Um, and you do have to pay shipping as well. But this will fit in like a padded uh, envelope um, through post office, which is like eight bucks, something like that. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Um, but possibly if I ever run out of things to pull and I haven't sold these yet, I'll open them. Um, but ideally, I want to go through and pull things I haven't pulled before first, which I think makes sense. You know, I think you guys enjoy it better too because you don't get the same video over and over and over and over and over, if that makes sense. Alright, and uh, next up we have something we're going to take a look at here. I did somewhat open this already, um, and uh, what it is, is it is a Darkness Ablaze booster box. Now, it does have a blowout right here, right? But if you can tell, this is the original shrink wrap. 
which is interesting because it also has a blowout down here. Now there's some tape here, so it's it definitely was opened on this side. Um, now the previous one, you guys didn't even see this, but I had another Darkness Ablaze booster box that was so ripped open, like packs were in half. Certain packs had 15, 20 cards in them. Other packs only had code cards in them. That went straight back to the old Amazon. Um, we'll have to see. These cards, at least from the top, look look legit. But, you hear that? That is probably cards just spilling out everywhere. Which means it's going right back. Now, if you guys do this sort of thing that I do... Uh, make sure you're double checking that Amazon's actually refunding your money. I had three that were almost uh, They're like basically on a month old from since shipping it back That they even confirmed It was shipped to them, but they hadn't refunded me yet So go back and like double check. I felt the easiest way was on my phone because it would say like um, Returned but not refunded or something and I had to contact them and ask them like well, what's going on? Do you need... Because I, I always keep all the slips. Like, go and drop off at a place that gives you a receipt um, for any RMA or shipping or... Because you want that confirmation that you actually dropped it off. Um, it might sound dumb, but I've definitely... That saved me multiple times. And that's why, like I say, if Amazon would have asked me for it, I had it. And I could have delivered it. Um, next up, we have something that looks legit and will probably also be in the later part of this video here. And that is a, ta a shiny Tapu Koko GX box that I got a really darn good price on that is beat the hell up. Which makes me think it's probably legit. Um, and Amazon Warehouse as well there. Uh, I might have already had this one, but the price was cheaper than if you could have bought the packs, even at the $4 a piece. So, cool. That also means that I might have an extra shiny Tapu Koko GX. Um, available to you guys if this actually is truly a duplicate that I already have. So we'll be cracking that open. And then last but not least, I got another binder. And this is the Ultra Pro ones that I really like that have the cloth uh, uh, sheet sleeves. And then they're side loading, not top loading as it says there. But the other big thing is a lot of when you get the plastic inserts for like a three ring binder, um, those are only one sided. So if you want cards to be visible on the other side, you put it in the back. Um, these have individual pockets front and back, and they have these nice cloth uh, sheets that will actually bend like on that, like the seams between them very well. And then you don't also have to worry about the three rings because sometimes what will happen is your. Um, cards will butt up against those three rings and kind of get bent due to that. That is why I really like these uh, Ultra Pro Pro Binder Pro Binders. Um, careful, some of these are called portfolios. The ones that they consider the Ultra Pro portfolios that are like Pokemon branded also have nine. They also have four versions, but they have ones that are nine, but they only hold like 80 cards or something. Uh, this will hold 360 with sleeved too. Um, so like really be careful. Um, also those, those, they're like much slimmer and sometimes they're like hard, actually like hard metal on the outside. Um, those also only have plastic sleeves. So the reason why I didn't get this one for a while is that the picture showed it with plastic sleeves on the inside. If you read the description, it does actually have the, um, do we need a knife? Oh, do we need a knife? It does actually have the, um, cloth in here and we will open this to confirm because the other one you could visu visibly see on the picture that it was the cloth sleeve or cloth sheets it's a nice bulbasaur there i think i have all of because i have a pikachu a bulbasaur a charmander no charizard and a squirtle so these are the cloth and then they're back, front to back, and you load them sideways, the long way. So they're easier to get in and out. And it comes with the, uh, just to protect them, I think, these uh, sheets in there. But these are what I prefer. Um, some other companies that aren't like Ultra Pro have bigger ones that are very similar to this. Um, I like these because they're the Pokemon themed ones. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll start straying from it. 
because I think I'm out of the different various Pokemon branded ones. And I would like to keep separate binders for separate things and know what's inside. So I might change it up um, after this. But I do, I, I got one of these, actually specifically this one that's a Pokeball, as part of the Mewtwo EX box. And it was like super nice because when I was younger and I had these, realistically what was all out there that I can remember, at least that I was aware of when I was, you know, teens or less, um, were those inserts for your, your standard three ring binders. So and I, this is a huge improvement. And I think uh, one of the brands actually has, instead of a three by three, a four by four, or maybe even a four by five, like it's, they're real big. Um, and I'm just going to separate them by like, you know, one or two, maybe three or even four, depending on how many I have uh, sets in each one. So, just for hollows. Uh, well, let's uh, get you down to this here, and um, we will uh, take a look at that booster box that I'm... I was actually pretty confident in it before I shook it. I should have shook it upstairs, and it might not have even made this video, to be truthful. But... Uh, Let's give her a shot. Alright, we're going to rock this same angle here. Hopefully it's in focus for you guys here. There we go. Here we're recording. Alright, so we're just going to keep this in case it has to go back, which there's a fairly high likelihood now that I realize. So this whole one side is taped right there. Um, so we're going to cut it right on that tape. It actually looks very close to something I would have done. Not open it and repackage it, I'm just saying like the tape type. That's uh, bigger than the tape I use though, that's like Amazon warehouse tape. So, um, I'm gonna go right here. Sorry about that. So like this is uh, not your normal two and three quarter, that's probably three inch wide tape. So maybe there's some hope there. backwards here and this was the original shrink wrap because it has those pokeballs on it oh, that tore right the fuck off all right uh, they're all clean cut on the bottom I can I can see that you guys can't yet but uh, what I mean by clean cut on the bottom is yes they're literally clean cut open on the bottom. That's why they go clack clack here. That noise. Let's take a quick picture for the old the old social media. I don't know if it's going to focus in there. I think we got her. But yeah, so that's that's going back, guys. Somebody literally just went in here and cut the bottom off all of them. Um, I saw code cards, so maybe they didn't at least take those, but I'll go through one or two. Um, yeah, we can go through one right now. Um, but it feels, they feel skinny. So my guess is you go through here, common, 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 energy, uh, uncommon, uncommon, no rare, no hollow. So my guess is uh, every one of these has the rare and hollow pulled from it because there are people that are that sick that will buy one of these boxes that are really hard to get so prices are shooting through the roof and they'll just pull the rare and hollow from every pack which is what one would call a dick move, um, if you ask me. So, uh, yeah, that, this one's going straight back to the old, the old Amazon. The old uh, Amazon warehouse in the sky. Somebody, like literally, all the Amazon warehouse people have to do is that. Listen, you don't want to hear that in your booster box. And this was taped shut a little bit better, so it was like that. Still. Here's what 
here's a for instance, here's our Battle Styles one that uh, Jared and I were our Mooski, as you would probably know him by, would uh, we're gonna open up the la last time we were gonna stream, didn't get around to it sadly. If you notice, the flap is behind the front piece, so you can see it, and then nope, not a maybe a slight movement of some cards you can hear in there, or like packs. Um, that one was shipped and sold by Amazon UK because uh, that's the only way I could get one of those. And then I found out that my uh, local hobby shop just had them. I would have bought one from them then instead, instead of going through the whole rigmarole and waiting for it to ship from the UK, etc. Er, some of these are actually coming from Australia, even though they're on Amazon UK, which I find very interesting. But hey, whatever floats Amazon's boat, right? So here is Tapu Coco GX Box. Um, this one looks legit to me. So let's take a couple snappy snappies for the old uh, social medias. And uh, we will crack her open. I gotta make sure I take this last shot, which is one I actually used for like thumbnails and stuff that you guys see. Uh, much wider. So the 16 by 9 is what's required for for uh, the old YouTube, and man, that's a, that's a significant crop. Uh, Gertrude is actually chilling around here. Hey, Gertrude. How are you? Yeah. If you check out some of the uh, uh, Mad Minute Mouse Mania videos, I got it right this time, I'm pretty sure. Um... She was in some of the more recent ones that we shot. That was basically the whole Corsair 2019 line that I bought in 2019 that we are opening almost two years later. Yep. All right, so here is Tapu Coco, shiny, shiny Tapu Coco GX here. Um, are we still in shot and in focus? I don't know. So here's that, pop this guy off here. This is an older one, so the card is just held in top and bottom. It's gonna be bent. Rip bent card. Oh, no, it's held on four sides. That's pretty significant. Uh, there is our Tapu Coco, shiny Tapu Coco GX card right there. I'll have to sleeve that bad boy up. And then all our packs look legit. We have two Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. We have one Sun and Moon and one uh, X and Y Steam Siege as, long, as well as the online card. Um, and this one I'll be keeping. I tend to keep the box ones now. You guys can, if you're, if you're interested in the codes from the packs here, uh, hit me up over on Twitter at the Prophesis. Let me know what video you watched and which pack you're interested in. I'll gladly send you over one, or maybe even two. Or I was really generous the other night and I sent three. I know. Aren't I a nice guy? And there's the big Tapu Coco, shiny Tapu Coco GX, which I'm pretty sure you might already have. And if so, I'll post about it, and it'll be up for grabs because. Yeah, I don't need dupes. You know what I mean? Alright, I'm going to grab the GoPro mount, get this Arc Zero on there, and we're going to get to some Pokemon Pulse. See you in a bit. Literally a second for you. Alright, so we're back. We got Mad... Mad Glare. Maybe I can fix that. Less? Less Mad Glare? Nope, Sam, I'm going to go with Mad Glare, just less light. I still haven't cleaned up the uh, hollows that are uh, here. You can see them kind of stacked up in the upper right corner there. Um, yeah, the whole desk is full. I ended up uh, sorting them into each you know like expansion or set they're from, and wanted to put them in order, and never uh, haven't had time yet. Work's been busy. Been working in some cases, t yeah, like ten midnight. 60 hour weeks lately. 
Hey, we're getting through though. You gotta get this shit done. You know? Alright, so we have Pokemon poles are like, you know, they end my day off nice. I have fun with them. I like opening things. This is like the epitome of opening things. So we've got two of the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Those are what we'll do first here. One's right there. I think right about here is in focus. And I keep having to raise this up so I don't hit the, you don't know, see the tripod. There we go. Let's refocus this guy. I need a bigger clamp like this for what we normally uh, do. Over on the workbench over there. Oh, jeez. I tore it. It was going so well, and then... And then it just wasn't anywhere, you know? Okay, I don't know if it matters for this one, but we got a green back. Um, one, two, three, because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing for this one. And... We have a Max Potion, a Lolan Graveler. I really do like those. I think a hollow one of those would look pretty dope. A Pseudo Wudo, Salandit, Noah's Pass, Tailo, Rock Ruff, Gumi. I like that Gumi. A Reverse Hollow Pangoro, Pangoro, and then a Hollow or Rare Non Hollow Rayquaza. And then I fire energy. We'll put that on top. We now know it's four for that one. I need to get some sleeps real, real fast. Like I forgot about that, guys. All right, we got a couple yellow sleeves yet in here. Tapu Coco GX, I need to label its sleeve. So, upside oh, down. Pangoro here. Um, energy can go right there. I'll just stack these bad boys up. Um, next up, pack number two of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. And I can tell you, we're, even though we have like more light where we are, the camera is struggling more because we don't have a lot of direct light. Usually on the workbench over there, we're at its minimum ISO 125 on auto. Um, or if I have the top light off, I think we're at like maybe 200 or 250 depending. So, and we're at like 640 to 800 right now. With me failing to open this pack of cards. Combat it. My hobby, apparently. Gosh dang, these are stuck in there. There we go. Got another green back. No idea if that matters for Guardians Rising. But one, two, three, four this time. And we'll go Psychic. Oh, Fairy. I keep forgetting about Fairy because... It's actually not all that common, like not every expansion has fairy. Uh, then we have Energy Lotto. Sligu. I don't think I've pulled that before, at least in this one. Brooklet Hill. Heliotile. Murkrow. Alone Sand True. Pretty cute. Machop, it's fighting Pose there. Chansey. Ether Paradise Conservation Area Reverse Hollow. No idea if that's in another Rayquaza. Wow, look at those solid Rayquaza pulls there. Alright, and said that to the Guardian's Rising Pile. And then we have our standard Sun and Moon, one that I probably should have opened more of by now, but I don't know, I just 
because it's a main one you'd think you would have, but I sure haven't. Oh, something of note, too. Um, we'll see if it comes, but I managed to get shipped and sold by Amazon in the U.S. Um, a booster box for Sword and Shield. Yeah. I had a booster box... Because I have battle styles, I bought that new. But one that I bought new as well, I can't remember which one it is, though. Um... Crap, I should look that up properly. One, two, three. I might even mention it in the previous video. Um, it's four for Sun and Moon still, looks like. We got a grass. And then we have a lowland Persian. That was a green back, by the way, guys. Switch. Boldor. He's a, he's a boulder. Uh, 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 like that. Shelter. I like that shelter with a big old tongue sticking out there. Zubat, Popplio, Stuffle, Wingull, Reverse Hollow Hip. No, that looks pretty dope, actually, to be truthful. And then a Crab Abom Crab Abominable, 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 yeah, Abominable, Crab Abominable, Rare, Non Hollow. So far, struck three for three, we have struck out and only gotten Reverse Hollows. We had a whole pull the other night, seven packs, all reverse hollows. My uh, luck might be spent, guys. Our last one, XY Steam Siege. Pretty sure this is a three. So that's what we'll do. Oh, that's tight. Let's see what we got for smells here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little, little pungent there. Real strong on the sour end of that note. And another green back. Wow. Wow. One, two, three, four, three. All three on this one, I believe. And we got a Rapidash. Pokemon Ranger. Nidorino. The male one, yeah, Tangula, Joltik, Larvista, Rufflet, Ponyta, Reverse Hollow Steelix Spirit Link, and a Bastid Bastiodon. Okay, I I struck out, guys. Completely, completely, and utterly struck out tonight. Like, most of these are trainers, I'm pretty sure. Let's go back through them here. And we'll take a, take a peek. Alright, let's take a look at what we managed to pull. Obviously the shiny Tapu Coco GX. Then the Reverse Hollow Pangoro, which is actually pretty dope looking, to be truthful. Um, then we had a, a Ether, I believe that's Ether, Paradise Conversation. Conver Conversion? Conservation. Conservation area. I can't. It's late. Reverse Hollow Hypno. It looks pretty dope. I think I might already have him, though. And then a Reverse Hollow Steelix Spirit Link. So, not much there tonight. Um, hopefully we'll do better. That's two in a row, though. Down, a real downer for me, you know? Um, we might have to open some more just to uh, bring it back up in the next video. I'll see what I have around here. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Alright, well, hopefully you enjoyed it. Throw a like on it. If you have any comments on uh, my dry spell here, you know, throw it down below in the comments. Uh, hit subscribe and notify to see future videos. Um, as I said, I showed you we had the booster box coming. That'll probably be a live stream. Um, and we have some of those uh, first partner ones, as well as the the big binder or the big card binder with the Pikachu. If you're interested in any of that, you know, hit subscribe and we'll see you then. Um, you have a good one.